So I wanted to give everybody a little bit of a look at the Cisco Learning Labs. This is the brand new lab that uh, Cisco is now offering through the Cisco Learning Network. And so a lot of the uh, mentoring and the tutoring uh, that I do in the members area, I will uh, give you some lab assignments and I'm expecting that you're going to probably do those labs here, although you could do those with your own uh, pod if you had your own or, or a rental pod. But basically this is a look at all of the labs that comes in the ICND2. Now this is the second portion of the CCNA program. Uh, the ICND2 lab bundle and basically what you get is you get um, for $50 you get uh, your your allotment of time which you're, you're given and uh, one of the cool things about this that uh, Keith Barker brought out in his uh, video on this was that uh, you can basically start and stop your time if you have to go back and maybe watch another video and then come back and, and work on your labs. But I want to show you how easy it is uh, just to get started with this. So basically this is what it looks like when you log in and you can see your available labs and this is the portal. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and take a look at implementing a small network. And I'm going to go ahead and click on start this lab. And then it gives me some information. Uh, about the lab here. It says click the start lab button in the menu above when you're ready to begin. And so I'm going to go ahead and click on this to start my lab. And we'll give it a moment here. There we go. Make sure I actually click on it. And now we get this um, awesome lab background. And look at right away you can see I've got I've got 25 hours of lab time here and it's counting down and um, so basically what you can do is you can take a look at the tasks and diagrams and it tells you exactly what it wants you to do so basically task one says and it'll open another window here get a console connection to the router and the topology enter privilege exec mode erase the startup config on r1 and then reload r1 so let's go ahead and do that just to show you how you would do this basically you're going to click on r1 here it's going to launch your default uh, terminal application and check this out here. I am, and I'll make this a little bigger for you to see here. I am on R1 now. And uh, man, this is just the coolest lab environment here. So if I do a show run, you can see that uh, it looks just like I'm on a router. So now they said to erase it, so I'll do a write erase. And it says, OK, the erase of NVRAM is done. And then let's go see what else it wanted us to do. It says erase the startup config, reload R1. And if you're prompted to save um, any modifications, answer no, because otherwise then you're not really deleting that startup config. So let's go on back over here and we'll go reload. And boom, we can see that reload command was uh, sent and our router is going to reload. And I tell you what, it looks just like we're in the real thing. But this is iOS on Unix. And you can see here it's a Solaris Unix Spark processor. And so it, it's a fantastic learning environment that's never been uh, there before for, for us to use. And I think you're really going to enjoy this if you're limited on lab equipment. Now, like I said, maybe we need to go back and maybe we're asked to do something, configure it with a host name. And maybe we're at the point where we don't know how to do that. But what we can do is we can um, exit out here and... Uh, so total time used, one minute right now. Uh, notice my status says it's suspended. And so if I go back in and I continue this lab and then resume it, now it goes ahead and it starts picking up right where I left off. So it actually pauses the lab for me. Now, another thing that uh, I wanted to sort of bring out here is that uh, some of you may be familiar with using GNS3. And GNS3 or Dynamips um, on the back end there, and uh, using that to emulate Cisco IOS. And while that's that's a good tool, let me show you why this is loads better than using GNS3. See the switch right here? If I click on this switch icon and I go ahead and say I'm going to allow that connection, watch what happens here. Okay, I'm on a switch. Let's make this bigger for you to see there. I'm now on a switch. And, you know, you, you can't emulate your switches with GNS3. So if I do a show run, and I take a look here, I'm basically on a switch here. And so now I can go in and I can pretty much do, 
do a show version, I can do the things that I would normally do on a switch. And so this is just uh, mimicking a, a, an iOS-based Catalyst device. And uh, you want to do different things, you know, come on in here and go uh, VLAN question mark. And look at that. We can do, do VLAN configurations. We can set up an ISL VLAN uh, and whatnot. So there's a number of things that we can do in here. Um, that uh, sort of makes it a little bit better, especially from the emulation perspective. And I can imagine that the switch capability is only going to get better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to exit this lab so I can save some uh, rack time here. And uh, now I've used two minutes of my 25 hours. And man, I could probably go through all of these labs. And you know what? That's a, that's a fantastic capability to have. Um, if you think about it, you go with a, a rack rental vendor, uh, you can buy for, you know, $40, uh, you can buy an eight hour slot with a, a lot of these rack rental vendors, but are you going to work for eight hours straight on these labs? I don't, I don't think you probably will at lower levels. When you get up into the CCIE level, you certainly might, but probably not up at the higher levels. But anyhow, this basically covers all the labs that you would do in an IC and D to course and you can go through and work on them on your own time start and stop the lab environment and work on it from there so i'm going to go ahead and uh, we'll exit the lab system for now takes me back to my login portal and we'll go ahead and end this video and hopefully you uh, like taking a little bit of a sneak peek at the uh, cisco learning labs thanks for watching